Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a little chit chat, get ready with me pregnancy update. I like doing them this way so that I can like be doing something with my hands <laughs> and like giving you guys something interesting to watch, like me getting ready while we talk about my pregnancy. <laughs> so I am going to be linking all the products and listing out everything in the description bar for you guys because I'm not gonna talk about them. I feel like the last video of these that I did, I tried to talk about the products and I talked about my pregnancy and editing it was so hard because I was like, what do I keep in? Me talking about the products or me talking about my pregnancy? So I'm just gonna link everything below and we're just gonna get ready and we're gonna just talk and we're gonna like chat. We're just like girlfriends getting ready. So play this while you're doing your makeup, while you're hanging out. I already did my base because um, one, it actually is gonna save me time, but I'm reviewing this foundation, the $5 LA Girl Pro Coverage Illuminating Foundation. So I went ahead and did my foundation, my concealer, my powder, all of that. So we're gonna start with brows now. So let's go ahead and get into what the heck we wanna talk about with my pregnancy. I should probably post and see if any of you guys have questions, right? Let's, let's do that on Instagram. Just post on Instagram, camera died, but we're ready to go. So um, while we wait for questions to come in, I will just kind of update you guys on general pregnancy stuff. So it is August 23rd today, and I am 23 and a half weeks pregnant. Um, my new weeks, I know I've told you guys this before, but for those who are new to this channel, welcome. Welcome, that's the thing that I do now, you guys. I just like hiccup burp. It's weird. It's like a new weird thing with pregnancy. <laughs> um, but I am, uh, my new weeks start on Monday. So I was 23 weeks on Monday, so it's Thursday, so I'm 23 and a half weeks, and I'm having a baby girl. Our due date is December 16th. That's our guest date, right, as they call it, because you literally have no idea when the baby's gonna come. So we haven't done anything, like the nursery isn't, like we haven't ordered furniture or anything like that. My first shower is going to be in West Virginia, which is where I'm from, my hometown, and that is on September 22nd. So it's a month away, which is so exciting. I cannot wait. It's so hard not to watch the registry because like even more than wedding stuff, baby stuff is like so cute and so exciting. And so I don't look and see who bought what, but I'm keeping an eye on it because I've had some issues with items going out of stock and like switching registries. And so um, it's just like really fun to see like all the cute baby stuff and it's like fun to see like what people like and um, what's being purchased. I just would be lying if I said I wasn't checking the registry because I'm just so excited about everything. So I've been thinking about doing, I think I'm gonna end up doing a blog post which is something that I'm working on as a blog for you guys. Um, I've been wanting to start a blog for years and I haven't done it so I've been doing it now. I've been designing it and just working on it so um, I'm going to be doing that really soon. And I've been thinking about doing a blog post of what's on my registry or do you guys want to see a video on it. The video, the only thing is that um, I was thinking that it would be, it's just going to be like my computer screen so I feel like it makes more sense to do like a blog post on it. That way I can link everything easier and have pictures of everything, you know, versus like scrolling through my actual registry and just telling you guys all about it. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But anyway, our registry is done. We registered at Target, at Amazon, and at Bye Bye Baby. Target and Bye Bye Baby, Target's our biggest one. Bye Bye Baby is really close behind. And then Amazon, there are just like a few things, like kind of indie brands and just some really specific branded things that I wanted. Um, like the Merlin Magic Sleep Suit, the Snuggle Me Organic. Um, uh, is it just called like the Snuggle Me Organic Sleep like snuggle, why can't I, I, it's fine, I mean, I have a brain, it's fine, I do, I really do, but it's called something like that, and I wanted, I really wanted that, not the Docatot, so there are just a few things on Amazon that are Amazon specific, or like indie brands that are sold on Amazon, that things that I wanted, so, um, we registered on Amazon too, and then, yeah, so registry is done, that's been like a big update in the last couple in the last month or so, because I don't think I've done an update since 18 weeks for you guys. So, <clears throat> since 18 weeks, it's been um, really good. My energy the second trimester has been so high. I know I already mentioned that. Everything has been feeling really good and really 
just nice. She kicks constantly. Like, I feel like she's moving around in there 24-7, which I know she's not because she's doing a lot of sleeping, but it really feels like she moves 24-7. The only time where she's really quiet is funny. It's been at nighttime, which is very not typical for babies because usually they are awake when you're sleeping because when you're moving around, you're kind of like rocking them to sleep. And they say a lot of times that when they come out, they have a similar schedule to what they are what they are in the womb. And a lot of times that's up at night. Um, so anyway, but she sleeps when I sleep. She, the only, there's only been one night, and it was so weird. It was like this past Monday or Tuesday where she kicked me all night, and I was up all night, and I didn't get any sleep. And it was so weird because she hasn't done that before ever, and it hasn't happened since. It was just that one night. Maybe she just had like an antsy night. I don't know. But she generally kicks me a lot during the day, like as soon as I sit down, um, as soon as I just, you know, put my feet up for a second, she'll start kicking me. I had a prenatal massage yesterday, which, gosh, if you're pregnant, you know, like everything just like kind of hurts. And so <laughs> getting prenatal massages, it's been a month since I've had one. So getting prenatal massages though is like a lifesaver. I've been, my husband's been working on my neck a lot because I've, the headaches have gotten so bad, the tension headaches in the back of my, in the back of my head. So, um, so he's been helping out with that, but like a full body prenatal massage, oh girl, it is so good. So I got that yesterday, but of course the entire massage, she kicked me, which was so funny. Like, and she didn't just kick me, she like really kicked me. <laughs> she was just like kicking me hard, but it's funny because it's my favorite thing. I don't like, it's, I'm, this isn't me complaining about it at all because I love it. I love it so much when she's not moving. I'm like, will you move in there? <laughs> I love feeling her little kicks and I feel like I'm getting to know her, which is really cool. I feel like I'm getting an idea of kind of like a little bit of like what her spirit's like, which is just very, very, very cool. I love, I just love that I have this like little buddy that I get to take with me everywhere. It's just so nice I don't know I love it so much so generally it's been really good everything I've been feeling so good I started the pregnancy at a hundred and fourteen pounds um, <coughs> and then I now weigh about 128 29 so I've gained about 14 to 15 pounds at this point at 23 weeks 23 and a half weeks which um, like feels really good it's funny how much I truly could not give one crap about the scale. Like I weigh myself just to keep an eye on it for things like preeclampsia or if I start like losing weight, but I don't weigh myself every day. I maybe weigh myself once or twice a week and um, just to like keep an eye on it, but I'm not, it was amazing when I saw a hundred, like when I, I just, the numbers just don't affect me. I just could care less about the weight gain, which I thought was going to be honestly a really hard part of pregnancy for me like I thought I was really going to struggle with gaining weight because you know I've always I stay at the same weight always and I just thought that I would be like you know this is weird like not like panicking about it but just think like this is weird like I'm 129 like I've never been that in my life you know the highest number I've ever seen so <clears throat> I thought I would feel weird about it, but honestly, it just feels good. Every time my belly grows recently, I've just been like, oh, thank God, because there is this feeling of she does not have enough room in there. Somebody make more room because I can just feel her, like not crammed in there, but she's, you know, she's getting bigger and she sits so darn low in my pelvis. She literally lives in my bladder and and so it's just, it can get so uncomfortable with the space. And I felt like my bump hadn't really popped out and then it did at 22 weeks was when it really popped out. Well, you can, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I do all the bump dates there. But um, it really popped out at 22 weeks and I was like, I woke up and I was like, thank God. And I just like stuck my belly out and I was like so pleased because I just needed more room. So, you know, there are definitely like hard things about the, the body changes and about like what you experience being pregnant, but gaining weight and like watching my body, my belly grow and things like that has not really affected me at all. Besides that, it's just different weight. Like my back hurts carrying the 15 extra pounds. My back hurts more and things hurt more, but I never look in the mirror and think, 
I miss my body. I never think that. In fact, like I have been talking so much about like with my pregnant friends and people who've been pregnant. I'm like, don't you feel like freaking badass? Like I feel so much cooler. <laughs> Honestly, and just like so much more badass than I ever have growing life like there it gives you some sort of feeling it makes me feel like just really proud of like what my body can do and I'm somebody that's really in tune with my body and always has been and so to have the connection to my body and then to like watch it like perform this like miracle because that's what it is growing a baby is a miracle like how can we do that and support it and just it's amazing it's, it's amazing it's mind-blowing to me and so I have been just so impressed with my body and so thankful and grateful and that's just really how I've approached the changes and this pregnancy it's been just I don't know really a really beautiful experience for me and I wake up and I'll have more cellulite on my legs some days and I don't have any noticeable stretch marks right now but my butt is getting so much bigger <laughs> So much bigger and my boobs are so much bigger which is funny because I've never had boobs I've been like a double A my whole life and it's just like I don't know I feel so grateful for my body like maybe more grateful than I have ever been for my body ever in life and I think I think that's accurate more grateful than I've ever been for my body because it's doing this freaking miracle of a thing every single day and so you know, I'm trying to really listen to it and give it what it needs, but I'm not always, always the best at it because I'm working on a lot of really fun things like this new blog, wanting to film for you guys. I'm almost done with my Kundalini teacher training. I literally graduate in like two and a half weeks and I'm just working on all these fun projects and I want to keep going and I, and I want to keep up with my workouts and things. But my body sometimes tells me, like, you need to nap. Like, you have got to sleep. Like, you can't go to the gym today. You're exhausted. And I try to be really good about listening to it, but sometimes I really suck. For instance, on this past weekend, Tim and I really needed to paint the trim in the hallway, the trim, mostly the trim in the baby's room, the baby's closet doors, and the door. It's all this, like, natural wood color, which I hated. It's, like was so ugly in this house was my least favorite part and so we were always planning to paint it and we finished the living room and we redid like our whole living room new furniture um painted all the trim painted all the walls everything but and the baby's room is staying the color that it was painted which is like a really 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 pale mint green i'll, I'll do a baby nursery tour once we get it all set up for you guys a lot later but um but anyway, so we needed to just like finish painting all of that white and just get it all situated. And so we decided to do that this past weekend. Well, Tim is like very adamant that I not paint, not because of smell. We already talked to our doctors and if as long as it's like really well ventilated, it's fine if I paint as long as we're not using like these two specific kinds of paint, which we're not. Um, but I wanted to help and so I did the doors in the garage where it was like really well ventilated and Tim did the trim in the baby's room. That day specifically it felt like I had been hit by a truck and I it was so weird because I hadn't been really like tired exhausted from pregnancy in a while like second trimester had been going so well I hadn't felt those exhausted feelings and so it really came out of nowhere. I Tim was painting and I ended up having to sleep for like three and a half hours that afternoon because I was so tired, but because I slept, my food and my water schedule, which was fine, my body needed it, obviously, but my food and my water schedule got really weird. I definitely didn't drink enough um, that water that day, and I knew that on Saturday. I was like, we were up until 10 or 11 painting. I was still really tired, and I didn't drink enough water. Well, Sunday I woke up really late, because I was so tired again, slept in really late, and then I ran to yoga, had like half a granola bar before I got there and then was gonna like drive through Starbucks and get um, a breakfast sandwich afterwards. This one shadow that I'm working with is like super patchy which is why it's taking me so long. Um, but I'm using a new palette that I've never used before, I'll just tell you guys. It's the Jouer, um Springtime in Paris Matte and Shimmer Palette. I bought this literally when it launched which I think was a year ago. Uh, and I have never used it and so I decided I'm gonna use it and I'm really loving the colors but this one shade I'm using to darken the outer crease is just a little patchy so I'm just working to build it up and that's why it's taking me so long to do my eyes but it's kind of nice I'm just like chatting and taking my sweet time I kind of love it 
Um, so anyway, what was I saying? So I went to yoga, only ate half a granola bar, didn't want to drink through yoga because it's an hour and a half class and I knew I would just have to pee every five minutes. So I didn't drink a ton before. I get out at 11.30 and I go to, um, go to the grocery store but I get Starbucks and I eat and I drink and I get home and I'm unloading the groceries and the whole room starts spinning like in my house my whole house starts spinning I feel like I'm gonna pass out and collapse and I start freaking out because Tim isn't home and I'm like oh my gosh I must be dehydrated so I start chugging water and I called Tim Tim was on the golf course and I called him and I was like listen like I feel like I'm gonna pass out I'm chugging water but I want you to know because if I start feeling really bad like I'm gonna text you and be like you need to come home um, but I felt like maybe he could wait it out a little bit so then I called my mom after I talked to Tim and I was just talking to her on the phone and it just got progressively worse. I ate a snack, I chugged like 40 ounces of water, still I was feeling just like worse and worse by the second. Um, I, like one of the big things was I was so dizzy I couldn't move my eyes or my head or the whole room would start spinning again and I was just like dizzy sitting and I couldn't lay down because I would get so dizzy that I it was like I was gonna throw up. So with the dizziness, I was then so nauseous and I just, I was shaking all over. I felt so weak. My friend Emma lives really close and my husband was an hour away. So um, my friend Emma came over to hang out with me, which was like so nice of her. You guys get good friends that you can just like count on. It was just so nice of her to come over and hang out with me. It made me feel so much better having somebody here in my house with me while this was happening. So it was super scary, super scary feeling. Did not like it, obviously. Really wanted to go away. Waited it out for like about two hours like kept drinking but I just was feeling so bad I was like I'm calling the midwife like I have to call the midwife I'm and it wasn't like uh, I didn't feel like I could call the midwife I probably should have already called the midwife but I was just thinking well if I'm dehydrated it'll just dissipate right like I can just wait this out it'll be totally fine no by however dehydrated I was it just like it wasn't working and I couldn't catch up and so I called the midwife. I explained everything. I was on the phone with her for like 20 minutes. She's, they were so sweet. They have like an emergency number, which is amazing. Like our clinic is so cool. They have this emergency number that you call um, and they call the midwife on call and they talk to you. And then if they, if they want you to come in, they call the hospital and they book a room for you. So you just go in, you go to the maternity ward, you're in, you're done. It's, it's gr the greatest thing ever. And so th she wanted me to come in, like, right away. She was like, you do not sound good. Like, she knows what I'm like, and I'm really, like, outgoing, bubbly person. And I, I told her on the phone, I said, I think I'm going to collapse. Like, I, I can't move off my floor. Like, I don't know what's happening, but it's really scary, and I don't... I said, that the baby's moving. Like, I can feel her, but, like, I, I just feel horrible and not like myself. And she was like, yeah, you need to come in. So everything was really off. My potassium, my electrolytes, my sodium were like scary low. I was super dehydrated. And she just said that, yeah, like it's, she was like, you've, you've learned your lesson. Like with pregnancy, this stuff, this is the first time this happened. With pregnancy, you can get dehydrated so fast, which I did know because my best friend has been dehydrated with her pregnancy and had to go get fluids. I know a lot of people that have had that experience, but I was like, oh, I'm so, I'm going to be great at hydrating. I'm not going to have to do it. Like, I know this is the thing. And then I end up in the emergency room getting two liters of fluids. Well, in the maternity ward, not the emergency room. But they were so nice and so sweet. They did a ton of labs. They did, obviously, like a urine, urine test. And they just looked at everything for me, monitored the baby, monitored me for contractions. And four hours later, we were able to leave. But that was, like, one of, not, one of my, like, not my brightest moments where I needed to be listening to my body. And I just didn't because why? I don't know. Just like wasn't worth it. But anyway, that's my long story of what happened at the emergency room. <laughs> because I don't know. I haven't even checked to see if there are questions. I'm just uh, telling you guys stories. So, but anyway, generally I've been really good about listening to my body. And you can bet your butt I went out and bought a 32 ounce water bottle. And I've this week specifically I've been drinking a little bit of Gatorade every day just to keep my sodium, potassium, sugars a little higher to get my body back on track because she said that, you know, just be drinking a lot of water and a little bit of something like Gatorade or a little bit of juice or something every day um, for a little bit. And so I've been having like 20 ounces of Gatorade every day too, but I've been drinking a gallon of water because she's like, you need 96 ounces 
and I'm like, I will do you one better. I'm having the gallon. <laughs> um, because I definitely don't want to do that again. That was like not fun. It felt, I know that it's just dehydration and it sounds really silly, but when you're home alone and, and I was home alone for the first about hour and a half till Emma came over. Um, when you're home alone and you feel like you're going to pass out and you're pregnant, it's scary. It's just scary. It felt like my nightmare, one of my nightmares, like coming to rea reality. And I know that sounds like really dramatic, but it did. The thing is, is like she was really impressed that I wasn't tachycardic when I came in. And I, I attribute it to like the yoga and the meditation that I do. I was able to really remain calm the whole time, even though like my body was like failing me and I was really dehydrated and all of that. I wasn't, I didn't have a, a high heart rate. I was able to like keep my body calm and myself mentally calm because I knew, I knew it was going to be okay deep down, right? Like I knew that. I just was scared. So Emma ended up, because Tim, I didn't know he was an, I knew he was an hour away golfing, but by the time I was like, okay, the midwife wants me to go to the hospital, he met us, left, like he had left before I had talked to the midwife and met us at the hospital. And um, Emma drove me because it was really far. They couldn't get us into the closer hospital, so we went to the one where we're delivering, which is just a little bit further away. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that transition-y color, I think, yeah like right above so that was my like eventful pregnancy pregnancy experience the 20 week ultrasound I know I talked about this in our gender reveal we found it was a baby girl we did our 20 week ultrasound and it was the best day of our whole life like it was the coolest thing we've ever seen um it was like we both agreed that it's maybe like not like second to but tied with the day that we got married and just like seeing each other at the end of the aisle like that was like maybe the only thing that could possibly top it. It's just, it was the coolest thing I've ever seen watching that our sweet little baby girl move around and kick me and punch me. And Tim thought it was so awesome to see it. Cause you know, I'm the one that feels it all the time and Tim can feel it too and does feel her moving around. But like I feel all the time. So he thought it was the coolest thing to like watch her kick me and for me to like respond in real life. It was funny because you could see her like on the ultrasound. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I'm really liking this eye look. I know I'm taking a hell of a long time on it, but I feel like it's going to be worth it. Do you guys think? I feel like it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm like, wow, Abby, you're amazing. I've taken this much time on my makeup in a long time, so it just feels nice to do it. Um, what else do I want to update you guys on? I feel like there was something else. Oh, so week 23 which is this week, has been, has, everything has changed. It has felt like, truly, 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 it has felt like my whole pregnancy has shifted. Um, for the first time ever, I'm experiencing heartburn, which is something that I actually used to experience a lot of, just personally, and I haven't had any with this pregnancy, but it doesn't come, it's not like real, real bad. It comes at night which is um which is actually okay like i would much prefer it to be like nighttime heartburn than all day heartburn so um right now i'm getting like really bad heartburn at night and sometimes tums do it sometimes i do have to take like a zantac or something like that which is like all pregnancy safe i have like a whole list of medications that i'm allowed to take so um so that's kind of the new thing and then with this just like monday it felt like everything changed like my bladder shrunk two sizes and instead of peeing you know like normal like two times a night I'm now peeing five times a night so I'm getting a lot worse sleep and my hips have just started hurting because I think I'm carrying a little bit you know more weight now and my bumps a little bit bigger so my hips hurt a little bit more sleeping on my side has been so uncomfortable um, because I'm a back sleeper and so my neck everything has been just like tense and tight and so I, that's why like prenatal massages have been like a lifesaver. And I think I said I hadn't had one in about a month because while I was at the beach, I got a heat rash on the very last day, which doesn't even make sense. And it was just in two places on my legs. It was the weirdest thing ever, but it was a heat rash. And because I'm pregnant and your immunity is lower, it took three weeks for this heat rash to go away. And I couldn't, it was like hard to wear pants. I just like stayed home wear my underwear and t-shirts around the house because it was like so painful for me to put anything on it. I would just want to scratch my legs off. 
And so I got this really, yeah, really bad heat rash on my thighs and my legs, my inner thighs too, and my outer thighs and just like the tops. And so I couldn't get a massage. So I just got one and thankfully it was amazing. I, I think I'm going to get two a month um, because they just, with my back, with my neck, with like tr having to sleep on my side, sometimes with the heartburn I've been sleeping propped up, so like reclined instead of on my side because you guys, I am just like, a die hard back sleeper. I have never been a side or stomach sleeper. So transitioning has been really hard on my body, my neck especially. And just because of that, my tension headaches this week have been awful. Like they've just been so bad. So the main change in this week has been really physically, I felt very different. Nighttime heartburn for the first time, like hips hurting for the first time and low back hurting. And then really bad tension headaches um, as well. <clears throat> which you know Tim's helped with because he works on my neck at night which is so nice and I I, th I was like honey I'm just gonna need this all pregnancy like I'm not gonna be the girl that wants the foot rubs I'm the girl that needs the neck rubs like my feet don't hurt I have experienced a little bit of swelling if I'm out a lot in the heat sometimes my fingers and my toes will swell a little bit but it's not really it's not bad or anything like that just a little bit of swelling so those are the main things and then let's see lots of peeing <laughs> lots of peeing that has just really escalated her kicking and her movements have definitely gotten harder and more forceful I posted on Instagram about kind of all of these things that I was experiencing how week 23 felt like it changed everything <laughs> oh yeah I'm, d I'm a little bit more tired this week which has been weird because I've had so much energy the second trimester my workouts are more uncomfortable for sure and I feel more tired during my workouts than I have and I think oh yeah clothes are definitely tighter I think those are kind of the main things that have changed this week but up until this week everything had pretty much been the same and feeling really good like I hadn't really been feeling bad that bad I'd been feeling really good it's just the last couple the last week has been a little strange really glad that I decided to do my base before we started this video because of how much I'm talking I haven't even looked at the questions. I feel like I ended up having so much more to update you guys on than I thought I would. So <laughs> maybe I'll have to do like a pregnancy Q&A once the questions come in. So if you have questions for me, especially about things I'm talking about, post them in the comments and I'll check. Also, do you guys like, I really want to use the community tab on here more. So let me know if you guys like that and would be interested in it because I posted something on there and I know that we haven't interacted much on there and I haven't posted a video in a week and so, or like a week and a half, I think it's been. So you probably haven't been checking, but I would love to use that for polls and just ideas of videos to film and just like connecting with you guys. So I think I posted like a tell me where you're from kind of post. So definitely go check out the communities tab. I would love to use that more and just get to know you guys better. So let me know how you're feeling too about that community tab. I think it's really cool they have it on there because you know I have Facebook groups and I've told you guys about them like you can join them and we can connect and some of you guys have done that but then I also just think it's really cool to have that that all in one place on YouTube where we can just access each other and hang out with each other. So <clears throat> let's see if there's any other updates. My second shower, I know I said my first shower, so I should tell you, I'm doing a shower in West Virginia with my family and friends from West Virginia, and then I've lived in Minnesota for four and a half years, and so we're doing one here with Tim's family and all of my friends here. Um, so I'm really excited about, about that, because in West Virginia, a lot of my friends I grew up with don't live in West Virginia anymore, so some of them will be coming for sure, but it's a lot of um, like my more adult friends adult friends like my mom's friends like people that I grew up with um and some people some of my friends will travel in but a lot of my f like my friends my more friends shower will be in Minnesota where I have like you know just more people that are central to this location does that make sense because I've lived here for a while so I forgot how much I loved Benefit Coralista it's making me want to like really blush up and you guys know like I'm not a blush girl but like I'm digging it today this eye look is giving me light I have not worn purple eyeshadow in a bajillion years but I forgot how good it looks with my hazel eyes because my eyes are like a greenish bronze yellow almost they're really truly hazel mm. wow I forgot how much purple brings out my eyes 
Purple is a really good shade for hazel, but I never, I never wear it. Mmm. Yes, I love it. And then my highlights. Ah, I'm going to go back to my Nicole Guerrero palette. Haven't used this in a long time because, like, it came destroyed. And I tried to, like, press it, and every time I open it, I'm like, because it's just a hot mess in here. Baby girl's really healthy. I don't even know if I've ever said if I've said that. But measuring really, really good. Heartbeat has been really strong and really awesome the whole time. There's been like we had a perfect 20 week ultrasound, so everything was really healthy there. And I'm just feeling generally like really good. I'm feeling pretty good physically. Like obviously there are some things, and I'm not gonna like sugarcoat it either. Like pregnancy is definitely hard. There have been hard things for me, like harder days than others. There have been easier days than others, but you know, overall it's been really rewarding and really beautiful and I've loved most minutes of the experience. I haven't worn this in so long. My Marc Jacobs um, Fawn Over Me Liquid Lip Cream. I loved this so much. I don't know why I don't wear it. Ah, uh, yeah. It's like a perfect nude for my skin tone. And I love it with that Koki Cosmetics lip liner. I'll have the details below for you guys. I think I'm so close to out of this. I really love how this look turned out so much. And I love this foundation that I'm reviewing. If that video is already up, It'll have check-ins and all of that. I will link it below for you guys. But I hope that you enjoyed this pregnancy pregnancy chat. If you're loving how I'm doing these updates, like a get ready with me style, let me know. I really enjoy it. I feel like if I just sit here and focus on everything I want to tell you, when I'm having those brain fart moments, which happen a lot during pregnancy, I have nothing to do. I'm just like sitting here staring at you, and it makes it more me and more just comfortable and natural for me to like do my makeup, get ready, and like talk to my gal pals, right? And talk to you guys about being pregnant and like what it's been like and what I've experienced and all that good stuff. So I hope that you enjoy this video, and if you have any specific questions for me, I can do a whole pregnancy Q&A for you guys. Post them below. Check out the community tab. I love you guys so much. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.